Hello, the practitioner here. Bachelor of Science student, chemistry major, mathematics minor, magician, parapsych researcher, technical agnostic, Fortean skeptic, and Aspie. Um, anyway, uh, let me get straight to the point with this one. You know, I've never really had to deal that much with discrimination against my disability beyond the few puns and a couple of employers who didn't really understand the technical details of my disability when it came to employment. Um, there were a couple of cases I could have sued, but I decided in the end that they were so screwed up in the head anyway from their own problems with generally other things, it wasn't worth it. I, I was just one in a much bigger series of problems. On the other hand, uh, my girlfriend uh, took the time to bring to my attention a news story uh, from CTV News here, which says that the, um, the uh, parents of a 13-year-old uh, autistic boy in Bertha, have a, uh, in Bertha, Minnesota, are facing a restraining order um, they're not allowed to go to their Catholic church because of the fact that um, a uh, a boy, um, Adam Wright, uh, Adam Race, um, he's fully autistic, and I mean by fully autistic, I mean he is he is the ultimate stereotype of autism in this case. Um, you know, like he he does the full um, you know intellectual uh, stu um, uh, uh, inhibit. You know, like it's. Uh, you know his intellectual his intellect is stunted. He's got the full um, you know sensory overload. He he reacts to people who doesn't have any social concepts. He urinates in church. Um, I'm sorry. I, I'm I'm just sorry. He urinates in church. Um, he apparently uh, hit another uh, child. Uh, he makes loud noises in church. Uh, he fights back when physically restrained. Um, Anyway, apparently the uh, the church has gotten a restraining order against this guy. It's a Catholic church, and they've gotten a restraining order against the uh, family and their son because he's autistic um, and the harm it's causing. Well, I hate to say it, but this is one of those things where, um, anyway, there's some who are saying it's highly discrimination against autistic people. Others are saying that, you know, he... Um, that the autism is becoming uh, too problematic. According to the CTV News article, they were offered the use of a room for people who would cause a disturbance, but the family refused to leave the room, uh, wanting him to be able to attend the normal church community. Oh, God. See, this is the fight I have to deal with every day being an Aspie. I mean, you know, um, I mean, yes, as an you know, yes, as an, as an eccentric autistic, I do have certain social deficits which do cause uncomfortability uh, with people in public. But on the other hand, um, you know, a large chunk of that, uh, again, is, you know, barring the times when I'm really panicking and I might inadvertently, you know, say or do something which might cause a little bit of emotional distress or inadvertently break something as I'm running around panicking like a chicken with my head chopped off. Um, you know, besides that, I mean, the most of it's just, um, you know, social uncomfortability. And people have to learn um, to be able to, you know, people have to learn to be able to, um, you know, deal with that with that which is different. It's the it's the whole concept of that whole closed mindedness versus open mindedness towards law. You know, a, a good skeptic and a good critical thinker is open minded to everything, and that includes people with disabilities around them. Anyway, I'm going to post a link to the news article over here because I think uh, for those of you who are Aspergers or know somebody who has autism, we're going to get a kick out of this. But um, for most of you who are my skeptic and atheist uh, subscribers, um, I would take a um, I would actually um, have you guys take a look at this one because this is one of those fine lines. I mean, yes, I know that you guys would probably be like, well, if the kid's getting deprived of religion anyway, considering that you know religion is exact is a is a mind virus, as Dawkins puts it. But I mean, you know, this is this is only one example of a much larger epidemic in our society where autism is the very last of disorders, um, you know, coming up against um, against problems. Um, you know, I'll, I'll let you in on a little piece of history. Before the Americans with Disabilities Act and before its Canadian counterparts were put in, it was illegal, at least in the United States. Um, in Canada, it was not illegal. It was just highly discouraged for anybody who had any sort of disability whatsoever, uh, a, 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 you know, a vocal or visibly, uh, you know, or someone who was visibly, visibly handicapped to go to any restaurant um, to, uh, you know, to be allowed in any restaurant for the, or, or, or public place for the fear of, of making other people uncomfortable. This was the exact same discrimination that was there before that in terms of segregation and putting people on the back of the bus, in uh, putting black people on the back of the bus during the 19, uh, you know, right up until the 1960s. 
This sort of discrimination is still going on in our society. The only difference is that it's just happening to, um, it's just that it's now happening to groups which are less so. Autistics are still having it, as this uh, example is still happening here. And women are still having this in terms of breastfeeding. Um, another example of this was a woman who, um, in my local area just a couple of weeks ago, um, got kicked out of the local, um, well, one of the biggest shopping malls in town for breastfeeding her kids in the food court. Um, a couple of days ago, I was at another of the pro uh, another of the ma uh, of the three malls here in Victoria in Bull and Books, and a woman sat down next to me breastfeeding because she wasn't allowed to do that in the food court. So you know, it's it's all this uncomfortability issue, and um, you know, and many of our and again, this is another problem of. Uh, of what I've talked about before about societal morality based on critical thinking fallacies and based on um, you know this this sort of narrow-minded irrationality um, crossing over again and causing us to shut out things which are perfectly healthy and perfectly normal but which are uncomfortable. Now, granted, I would agree in this particular case that maybe the said autistic Adam needs to be talked to outside of church and explained to in a logical context why hitting other people in church and um, you know, I mean, I can understand, you know, telling him why hitting him in church, uh, hitting in church is not a good idea. But the loud noises bit, I mean, you know, if people are uncomfortable with the loud noises, you know, bear in mind that, um, you know, Jesus said, uh, you know, that, that, that a good Christian uh, or a neighbor or what have you was supposed to let, it, you know, was supposed to, um, you know, look after someone who was beaten or battered or, or you know, had handicaps or stuff like that. I mean, what about uh, Jesus curing the blind and the lame? I mean, what about uh, the fact that he constantly ate with prostitutes and, uh, I mean, people who were denigrated in that time? I mean, isn't that the whole concept of what a Christian is supposed to do? Um, you know, I mean, I, I, I guess... Um, and, and and for for those of you who are militant atheists, and you know, and amongst even even amongst my own friends, and you know, for those of you who would go, you know, about the Old Testament and all that, you know, I'd say like my point being is that, uh, I this is more so for Christians now. Um, you know, aren't you guys supposed to be, uh, you know, aren't you aren't you guys supposed to be open and considerate to uh, to everybody, you know, regardless of disability, regardless of of skin color, of creed, of I mean, I thought that was the whole concept. Jews and Gentiles uh, were, were what were given the salvation anyway. I mean, if Jesus was supposed to allow everybody to be saved, then that means that, okay, granted there's, you know, granted you got to worry about the physical harm and stuff like that, but if the parents can work out at helping explain the kid, the kid should be allowed to worship with everyone else. I mean, otherwise, how's the kid going to learn how to be able to fit into society and be accepted by everyone else? The whole concept of being able to have an autistic kid um, or, or you know, someone who's either high-functioning autistic or severely autistic worshipping with, um, you know, the rest of the community is to help the rest of the Christian community get used to the idea of uh, severe autistics around. I mean, um, you know, a lot of people... Here's another example. Um, I know I'm drawing a tangent here, but, you know, this is that same mentality. Despite the fact that in Canada it is legal for people who have cerebral palsy and other, um, you know, mental disabilities of this sort, uh, you know, mental slash physical disabilities to be able to eat in shopping malls, go on buses, what have you, um, there are still a lot of people who will look with disdain on people uh, with cerebral palsy and the like who are eating at the food court. Um, like I said, I used to deal with this back when I used to work in the uh, food court in my local, uh, at the local mall um, in downtown Victoria, I mean, the you know, the Bay Center. When I used to work there at Glens, I used to hear um, a guy who would always be going, mmm, all the time um, when he was eating. I, I figured out he had cerebral palsy, you know, and, uh, you know, and, you know, actually, as a matter of fact, he was often eating from Glens. So in addition to, you know, I thought that was a, uh, I thought that was his way of, uh, of saying that he liked the food. So I was like, hey, works for me. You know, there was no... But everybody else, like when I saw them walk by, they were looking at him with complete disdain. I mean, okay, I guess my overall point is that um, Asperger's, autism, and other major disabilities are still being discriminated against in our society. Um, we have a much larger um, issue pertaining to, you know, discrimination in general um, in our society. And, and half these people, you know, have, have, in some cases, have superior intelligence. Um, you know, uh, Bill Gates, for example, is a, is is a genius. He's highly autistic. Both of his parents were Aspergers, and he became a he became a, an even higher autistic with a high level IQ. Um, Einstein was remembered to have Aspergers. I mean, um, oh God, how many other uh, figures in history? Uh, and, and by the way, Bill Gates is a known autistic. Um, you know, I mean, what you know, what more do you need? I mean, um, the the whole concept is that you know the 
in some cases, these uh, these disabilities are, are are attempts by humanity to mutate into this hyper intelligent format of society. Um, at the very least, they are uh, different forms of humanity. And if we're going to um, accept people of uh, of race, color, and creed, and religion, uh, you know, and religion's not uh, more in the next video.